my dear child god's plan is always worth the wait though it may be hard to understand at a times his timing is perfect when you are waiting it can be easy to become impatient or discouraged but trust that god knows exactly what he is doing his plan is far greater than anything you could imagine and he is preparing something wonderful for you during the waiting season god is at work shaping you teaching you and aligning everything for your good trust that the waiting is not wasted god is using it to bring about his best for your life keep your faith strong knowing that his plan is unfolding in ways you cannot yet see but those who wait on the lord shall renew their strength they shall mount up with wings like eagles trust in god's perfect timing and remember that his plan is always worth the wait so dear child know that sometimes it is easy to focus on what we wish had happened or what we lost but it's equally important to thanks god for what did not happen not every closed door or missed opportunity is a setback often they are divine protection or redirection to what something better god's wisdom surpasses our understanding and his plan for us are always for our good by recognizing and thanking him for the potential challenges he spread us from we can find peace and gratitude in his providence this perspective help us trust in his perfect timing and guidance and we know that in all things god works for the good of those who love him who have been called according to his purpose trust that every aspect of your journey including what did not happen is part of his loving and purpose purposeful plan for your life a wave of financial abundance is coming you show the universe your level of commitment through consistent daily effort so your small habits are manifesting great results you have now learned the small habits are what transforms your entire reality This is the time to double down on these habits and give thanks for what is to come. Soon you will be in the season of harvesting the efforts of today. Abundant change is coming. So dear souls know that Jesus is teaching us about the power and authority that believers have when they come together in agreement when he speak of binding and loosing he is refer- ref- referring to the authority given to us to make decisions take actions and pray in ways that have lasting spiritual impact when we bind something on earth whether it's a situation or temptation or a stronghold we are essentially forbidding it from continuing or growing 
likewise when we lose something we are allowing or releasing god's will and blessings into our lives or the lives of others this authority is not given lightly it is reflection of god's power working through us this scripture encourages us to be mindful of our words our prayers and our unity with other believers when we agree in prayer standing firm on god's promises we are participating in his work it is a reminder that we are not powerless through christ we have the ability to influence our world according to his will as you go through your day remember that your prayers matter so what you bind and loose in prayer god honor approach him with confidence knowing that he hears you and that your prayers can bring about real change seek to be in agreement with others believer trusting in the power of unity and the authority god has given you so dear god when it comes to my future i can't help but overthink about how things will go for me I want to succeed and keep an optimistic mindset but at a times I do get lazy and negative when things I do don't show instant results I get discouraged today I humbly approach you in prayer to ask that you remove any lazy bone out of my body bless me with great health so that I can work hard for my riches grant me the wisdom and skills to maneuver through life i never give up on myself the same way that you never give up on me remind me to trust your plan and stay positive because you have never failed me I know that you have great things planned for me and you will help me execute them and be successful in all that I do. I thank you so much for what is to come. So dear God, the new month has started and Lord, I need you to guide and protect me. We are quickly approaching fall healing season. and i want to be prepared for what is next so in the past i have made a lot of decisions of impulse or out of my ego i know now that is not healthy for me show me how to slow down this month and breathe in your sweet spirit I know this will help prevent a lot of unnecessary things. I can feel myself elevating to a new life and it is requiring me to change my habits. So healing must take a place so today I open my heart up to get prepared for the new season around the corner. out with old and in with new i am ready and excited for your plan with me god i love you forever and always